Um, I understand there's been some issues with um, electroshocking of walleyes up on the Wolf River. Um, Walleyes for Tomorrow, probably 20 years ago now, funded a study. Individuals were assuming that electroshocking on the marshes um, destroyed walleye eggs that were incubating on the marshes. And so we paid uh, for a study. It was conducted by Ron Brook, who was the chief biologist, fishery biologist at Oshkosh at the time, and Fred Benkowski, a professor at the University of Wisconsin uh, Great Lakes Water Research Institute. And what they did is they went through a marsh where eggs were spawned and collected eggs to see uh, what the survival was of those spawned eggs that had been subjected to electrofishing. They took the eggs back to Milwaukee and they used eggs. They actually, obviously, they had a control population where uh, they took eggs from a a location that had not been electroshocked and then they took eggs from an area that had been electroshocked and found that electroshocking had absolutely no effect whatsoever on survivability and percentage of survival of eggs um, one versus the other so anyone that tells you that um, electroshocking uh, is a detrimental um, process when it comes to the walleye spawn on the wolf river um, is wrong. Uh, we, we funded the study and we wanted to know and what we found out was it has no effect whatsoever. And electroshocking does not sterilize a fish. Um, there's no reason, there's no physiological reason why electroshocking would sterilize a fish. Um, they, it's a it's a regulated process. It's got, it's a very low amperage. Um, you can crank it up. You can crank the amperage up to the point where it will kill a fish. It actually, you can crank the voltage and the amperage up to the point where it will snap the spine on a fish that's been electroshocked. But um, it doesn't happen because the people that run these machines are professionals. They know what they're doing. There's a lot of things that affect conductivity of electricity in water, um, many things. Um, and we won't go into that because it would take a while. But um, it, electroshocking, there's absolutely no evidence, never has been any evidence that I'm aware of that electroshocking sterilizes fish. So um, might want to talk about that sometime in the future, but not with this presentation. Thank you.